So a couple months ago, I created this video where I showed you how you can implement Google-like search and autocomplete with MongoDB. And I recently got a comment about how to do this in Mongoose. So here's a little tutorial on how you can do it. I'm not going to be typing, I'm just going to show you the code for this one. And I will have the code posted in the description, the link to the GitHub that is. So you're just going to create your basic Express app, importing .env, and then do your .env config. Um, import Express, Mongoose, and Cores. Create your main function and connect to your MongoDB database. And for all of this, I went through the online portal and created all of that stuff and also created an index just like in my prior video. So if you don't know how to do that, just go and watch the prior video. And applied all this middleware, created a schema for how the data is going to look in the database, and then created this model here. So these are going to be the two autocomplete endpoints. This one is using an autocomplete index, which is more efficient and less effective. And the JSON for that is right here. And then this one is implementing a what I call a default index, but it's going to be less efficient and more effective. And this is what the JSON looks like. So this is what the body of this first function is going to do. It's going to get the student model and aggregate we're going to do a search on the index of autocomplete and then for this we're going to search for the name and it can be off by one and the token order needs to be sequential and then and then after that we want to get the name and the id from the objects we're returning and we're going to set a limit of 10. so you put all of that stuff in an array in this aggregate method and then await that and if you get a result, then we're going to send that to the client. Otherwise, we're going to send an empty array. And the one below this is very similar to the one above. So the first object that we're going to pass into this aggregate array is also going to be search. We're going to be on the index of default, compound, and then within this must array, the text object is going to have a query passed in by the user and then that's going to be assigned to the name field within our schema so da -da, this guy and we're also going to allow an off by one okay so now that that's done we're going to give it a limit of 10 just like above and we're also going to return the ID and the name and then we're going to await that and if we have results then we're going to send the results otherwise we'll just send an empty array so now let's check it out on the client side make sure it's actually working node index dev. all right so our server's running and our web app is also running so let's head over to localhost port 3000. And this search one is going to be hitting that search one endpoint that we created. So I've got a couple names in there. And, you know, this is what you'll get. So John, spelled with a G instead of an H, I get a, all these hits. We type in dog, we get these bad boys. Um, let's see, cat, we get Kathleen, Kate, cat, Katie. And to check out the second one, let's do the same. So we'll go with dog, um, cat, Kate. Uh, Jeremy and John oh, well yeah let's try that so that is it for this tutorial thank you for watching and I hope this helped